We use the uh, NYU Medical Center Breast Cancer Database uh, for the study. And what's interesting about this database is that the patients that we collect uh, into this database are, though racially diverse, um, mostly college educated, above the poverty line, have um, health insurance, access to health care, have had a mammogram in the last year, a clinical breast exam. So a lot of the confounding factors we have in studies looking at racial disparities are eliminated just by virtue of the population that we capture which I think is interesting to our, is unique to our database. So a total of 2,092 women uh, were um, in the study with a median age of 59. The majority of these women, like I said, had had an annual mammogram, uh, clinical breast exam. Most presented with an early stage cancer, zero or one. Most had invasive ductal carcinoma with ERPR positivity and HER2 negativity. So when looking at the MRI findings, uh, when compared to Caucasians, African Americans had lower breast density, lower background parenchymal enhancement, and lower fibroglandular tissue. However, they had a higher BMI. Uh, Asians had pretty much the exact opposite. They had uh, higher breast density, higher background parenchymal enhancement, higher, higher fibroglandular tissue, and a lower BMI, which makes sense when you think about it. A lower BMI, you're gonna have a less uh, fatty breast, and, and a more dense breast. We also found differences uh, among races with respect to the tumor biology with African Americans having a significantly higher rate of um, triple negative disease uh, and further stage, which has been shown time and time again in, in studies. However, this did not translate into a higher breast density on MRI imaging. So the differences in imaging characteristics are likely accounted for by this difference in BMI and, and fat content of the breast. However, it may not be directly related to breast carcinogenesis and, and tumor biology. So we concluded by saying that uh, further research needs to be done to elucidate the pathophysiology and biological me mechanisms underlying the relationship between BMI, obesity, um, and the types of, of breast cancer that we're seeing in women.